Opicus, tarot card. Opicus. Okay, it's Nine of Swords. The Knight. I remember that tried to come out for Scorpio with the, the one that ended up coming out, I think. Unless I'm crazy. Knight of Swords. So, skill, bravery, defense, resistance. This doesn't even make sense. I don't like tarot. I'm sorry. I just don't. No use for it. All right. Let's get something from the science of mind. It. For a pie kiss, a pie kiss. Faith is ever the light. We become conscious of darkness only when we are without faith. For faith is ever the light of our day and the light on our way. Creative thought is next. We must say that all thought is creative according to the nature, impulse, emotion, or conviction behind the thought. No way. Opiacus got the Valkyrie too, which we just read for Scorpio. The bird goddess is one of the most ancient goddesses, both a life-giving creator and a goddess of death and regeneration. The Valkyrie, a northern European goddess, is a representation of this goddess as death wielder. The bird guise of the Valkyrie is that of the raven, long associated with death and magic. The name Valkyrie means chooser of the slain. The face and form of the Valkyrie are the last thing a person sees before death. Valkyries are psychopomps who lead the soul to the afterworld. For ancient people, death was a part of a cyclical process leading again to rebirth. Black was a positive color, a symbol of fertility and abundance. The Valkyrie represents that part of us that is unafraid of the dark places. She can lead us into and through them. She reminds us that seeds germinate in the darkness, that sometimes we need darkness in order to grow. Sounds like someone in the Opiacus Collective is going through their dark night right now. Don't forget, the light still exists even though it's dark right now. The other one is Athena. Athena is presented by the Greeks as the virgin goddess of war and wisdom. A symbol of courage and friendship, she often counsels warriors to gentleness. She is especially honored as a goddess of agriculture, the creator of the olive tree, the flute, the ship, goldsmithing, and shoemaking, and the goddess who introduced the yoke for the oxen and bridle for the horse. <coughs> Sage for you, sage for me. All right. She introduced the yoke for the oxen and bridle for the horse. She is a patron of all useful and elegant arts. In Greek mythology, Athena is said to have breathed soul into the men created by Prometheus and to have helped Prometheus steal fire from the heavens to give to men. Athena is a wonderful affirmation that there are no limits to what a woman can do with her intellect and creative ability. Opiacus. Boy. All right. Let's see what we got from this deck right here. For Opiacus.
Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And then past life relationship, you have known each other before. Whoa. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That came out just a minute ago, didn't it? You might have some Scorpios in your charts. Piacus. You got the runner in a codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy, listening to toxic egos. And then seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference, love call, someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Mercy. The runner might be going to call you and seduce you. <whistles> All right, song message. For a pie, a kiss. Oh, that's too many. I'll keep them with. Forever's by Twiddle. Stormy Monday, Almond Brothers. And then Watermelon Moonshine, Lainey Wilson. And Orlando's by Twiddle. Boy. Now we're going to do Sagittarius, last but not least. Timestamp. 